Hi everyone, Lois here, and I thought I'd bring some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This week, Niantic has announced a couple of things. Next week, the Festival of Lights event in Pokemon Go returns, which will be October 14th until Monday, October 17th, and Morlul and Shintonic, its evolution, will be making their debut in Pokemon Go. Event bonuses include increased, increased chances of encountering a shiny Chinchow, two times catch candy for catching Pokemon, Two times XP for catching Pokemon. Incense will be active during the event that will last for two hours. And the wild Pokemon that you'll be able to encounter, besides Chintao and Morlau, that will be shiny, they are Pikachu, Vulpix, Magnemite, Litleo, and Galarian Ponyta. Litwick will not be available as a shiny for this event, as its shiny form will make its debut during its community day. Helioptile to Dende, Morlaw, and Toga Tomorrow will not have their shiny forms as of this recording. And any Pokemon you encounter during the incense include Alolan Geodude, Blitzel, Univadian Darmica, Litwit, Dedende, Morlaw, Galarian Ponyta, and and Galarian Darmica, which of course both forms of Darmica can be shiny. In one star raids, you'll get Galarian Ponyta, Univadian Darmica, the Dende, and Morlal. I mean Morlal. For three star raids, you will get Alolan Raichu, Galarian Weezing, Mawile, and Hisuian Brave Avery will be back. If you didn't catch Hisuian Brave Avery during its raid day when it first made its debut, here's your second chance to try to get one as a shiny. Exernius will will be making appearances in five star raids and its shiny form will be available. Mega Man Etric will be the mega raid boss for this event. Through field research task encounters you will get Galarian Ponyta, Electabuzz, Magmar, Chinchow, Blitzel, the Dende, and M M Morlaw. There will also be a timed research event available during this event, as well as some stickers. The other announcement made by Niantic is the Classic Community Day will be Dratini, especially if you missed out on the original Dratini Community Day, which was four years ago in February of 2018, you'll be able to catch Dratini as a shiny and complete a special research story for this event. And of course, it will be November 5th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time. And if you evolve Dragonair into Dragonite, it will learn Drago Meteor. And as for the special research story, it's called Dratini Community Day Classic, which for one dollar equal equivalent currency, depending on which part of the world you are in, you'll have access to this special research story. And of course, you'll be able to purchase tickets or gift them to your friends or family if you have 
a friendship level of great friends or higher in the game. Event bonuses for this Community Day Classic are three times catch Stardust, incense active during the event will last for three hours, lore modules activated during the event will last for three hours, and take up to five snapshot encounters for a photo bomb from Dratini. In other Pokemon news, this week, Nintendo, Game Freak, and the Pokemon Company released a new trailer for Scarlet and Violet, talking about the features of the game. Terra, Terra, right? I don't know what it's called, but it's similar to Gigantamaxing or Dynamaxing, and to get Terra forming or something, but you can do this with any Pokemon to have all of those forms with, with chain, like for example Pikachu can be electric, which of course that's what it is by default, but you can also change its Terra type to say water, fire flying, grass, ghost ice, fairy you name it, for example Girafferig also gets a new evolution. And of course, a couple weeks back, they also showed sort of a new form of Diglett, but currently does not evolve. It's called Wiglet. It's similar to Diglett as it has the same kind of nose as Diglett. And you'll be able to battle a new team in the Paldea region called Team Star and the story involves what is called the treasure hunt which has you going around the whole Paldea region and of course the Rotom phone from Sword and Shield will be back serving as your Pokédex once again but this will be an improved version of the Pokédex and it also will have a much more broader variety of, of features. Like you, you can take selfies with, with your phone in the game. You can also do picnics. And that's another new way of obtaining Pokemon eggs. You can make sandwiches. Customize your character like you have been since Gen 6 and so much more. If you want to see this trailer, I'll be sure to post the link in the description below for the trailer. One more thing. I'm sorry I haven't been able to stream on Twitch lately. Mainly due to mental issues and not sure what to stream. But hopefully I'll be back to streaming soon as I take care of of myself and other things in my life. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure!